YouTube, it's Thea, and I'm here with my April book haul. Uh, this, so for April, it was a much shorter haul, uh, but my wallet did have to recover from March. Um, I'm really excited. I've read actually three of the four books that I've hauled this month, um, so that's always a nice added plus to kind of uh, tackle my TBR pile here, but I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I got in April. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. The first book for April is actually the book that came in my Blue Spider Books unboxing, and that is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Um, I actually read this book a long time ago. I actually think I might do a reread of it soon because it's been so long since I've read it. And I actually do have the 25th anniversary edition of The Princess Bride, which is in this really nice um, hardcover, which is falling apart. Um, so I don't want to quite read this, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'm glad that I have this like nice paperback edition. It's not quite the movie tie-in, but it does have, it does look like the movie tie-in, which I am okay with. I do really like this cover, and it has been so long since I've read this. I absolutely love the movie. I'm so excited to read this. Um, and if you haven't seen my April Blue Spider Books unboxing. I'll link that down below because it came with some fun things in this box. But I'm really, really excited to give this a reread and to add this addition to my collection. What I hauled in April is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. I read this last year. Wasn't my favorite of her works, but I still really enjoyed it. I think I gave it like three and a half stars when I read it last year. Um, uh, it is my goal to have like an entire Victoria Schwab shelf and have all of her books. So this was another one that I needed for my collection. I love that it's basically brand new. I got this in my used bookstore for like half the price, um, but it's like basically in brand new condition. And I am so excited. I am going to be doing a Victoria Schwab themed readathon in the next couple months so keep an eye on my channel for that big announcement which is going to be probably a reread of this um, but I'm really excited to have this for my collection and so excited for the sequel coming out later this year but this was such a great find and I'm really excited to now own this. It wasn't quite a book it's an essay in book form and that is We Should All Be Feminist. I read this two years ago Absolutely loved it. Um, it's really hard to find a copy, so when I found it at my used bookstore for a couple dollars, I knew I had to pick it up. Um, but this is something, this is the um, essay that was kind of adapted from her TED Talk about what it means to be a feminist and what feminism actually stands for and why both men and women are feminists and why should be feminist. Absolutely loved this. I just shoved this in everybody's hands who kind of has discussions about feminism and what it means to be a feminist. and. And I just absolutely love this, and I was so excited to find a copy of it for a couple of dollars in my used bookstore. So I'm really, really excited to finally own a copy of this, and eventually I'm gonna have a whole like shelf of fem of feminist um, like literature. It'll be a nice added piece to the collection. Of feminism that leads me to my last book in this haul, and the only book that I have not read, and that is Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. This is a non-fiction slash fiction um, essay collection that kind of was compiled by Roxane Gay. I've had my eyes on this for quite a while. I've heard nothing but amazing things um, and it's starting to kind of pick up some momentum again as feminist and women's rights is kind of a pretty heated and heavy topic right now. And so I was able to find a copy of my used bookstore for like $7.50. But I definitely think it's something that I have been wanting to pick up. I think that it's culturally relevant to kind of resurface again and to pick up and read. I've heard Roxane Gay just compiles the most amazing essays in these collections. So I'm really, really excited to pick this up. I'm really, really hoping to read this very, very soon. Um, and uh, once I have my nice like feminist literature shelf, this will be a nice added piece. These are the four books. So these are the four books that I hauled in April. I am really happy that I limited myself this month since March was a, a pretty overpowering month when it came to my bank account and uh, three of the four books I've already read which is great to not add to my never-ending TBR pile and I actually ended up only having to pay for City of Ghosts because I had credit and this came in my subscription service so that's also a nice added bonus that it was able to kind of take a little little break but let me know down in the comments below what you guys hauled for April if you've read any of these any thoughts comments and opinions about them as always if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button Button, if not already to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!